Hi, welcome to our channel Talks on Management and Research. In today's session, we are going to see a statistical software which can be considered as a close alternate for SPSS and for Excel. Now, I have a flashback of this software uh, because during 2010 when I was doing my MBA, I have used this software extensively for my internship basically because I missed to attend some of the SPSS session by my professor Dr. Chandra Shekhar sir. So after that uh, I have found this software to be very useful. I used it for my internship and as well as for the dissertation as well and I have recommended this software to some of my MBA mates during that time. So it's been almost 10 years uh, from 2010. Now I have installed this software in my laptop so that I can uh, share what are all the options that is available that you can make use of it. Right. So the name of the software is Statisti Excel. Now how do you have to install it in your laptop? It's quite simple. You just have to open your browser like I have opened it on in the search you just Google Statisti Excel and click on download. So once you have clicked on download, you will get series of options available. Click on the first choice, first URL. Now it will take you to this page, official web page of Statisti Excel. Now you have different files available for you. You have the help file Statisti Excel V1, Statisti Excel V2. You just have to click on this Statisti Excel V2. It will download. You can see that it is already downloaded. It has taken almost only a few seconds. So the size of the software is also pretty small. It is only 8.2 MB, which is nothing. So basically, what is this software all about? This is uh, not an exclusive software like SPSS, but it is an add-in in Excel. So once you have downloaded this software, you just have to install it like any other normal software. It doesn't take much of your time and space. You just have to click next next button con con continuously and you have to agree for this uh, agreement and you just can give some kind of license name because right now we are installing a trial version for it. Now you can choose the default path. Click on next. Next. Right now I'm not, I'm not going to install it again because already I have installed this software in my laptop. I'm going to exit this setup. Now uh, the one which I have already installed it in my Excel as an add-in, I'm going to open it and I'm going to show that to you. I'm opening it. So now you can see that while I'm opening the Excel, it is also opening the Statisti Excel. You can see that. Now I have opened the home page of Excel and in the top, you can see in the extreme top mid, you can see the software that is installed in your Excel by default. Now I have clicked on it and you can see under Statisti Excel tab you have series of different kinds of options that you can perform as a part of your statistical test. Now you can do variance, you can do hierarchical clustering, contingency table, correlation, few discriminant analysis you can do and you can also perform non-parametric test what are the different type of non-parametric tests that you can do? The list is also available. So these are all the different type of tests uh, that we popularly do for our statistical analysis. So all these tests are available with us. Now how do we have to make use of this test and how do we have to give? I'll explain you with a small example which is already available in the software. Now and one more important thing is that you also filed uh, this help and which has a very extensive use. Once you click on it, you can see the different type of te test which is available in the software, a brief introduction of these tests and how do you have to input that data and everything is uh, explained it in a very, very simple manner. Now, I'll explain this uh, software uh, with an example. Now, I'll, I'll click, let, let us do a simple operation like correlation. Now I have clicked on this uh, correlation. Now uh, as soon as I click on it, you will be finding uh, the way how you have to enter the input and the way how you have to enter the output. And you also have a choice of 
selecting the labels in first row and all right so let me open you an example now click on file okay click on file one minute okay now i am i am trying to open the file which came along with the installation of statistic excel now if you click on it i'm going to this pc c drive program files okay now then click on look for the option of statistic excel yeah here you find it click on it and after that you will find a folder called examples now this under this folder you find series of files which you can use it for different type of applications now we are going to use a option like correlation so i have clicked on correlation click on open okay now i am able to open this file now here i have taken a file which has taken a data of the wing length of birds and tail length of the birds and trying to find out is there any relationship between the length of the wing of birds and tail uh, and the length of the tail of birds now uh, this is the data that was collected during 1999 okay so now i am trying to use uh, an option like correlation so make it simple click on statistic excel click on correlation okay once you click on it now it will give you a choice that uh, how do i have to enter the data now and here you can see an option like overview and layout so here in this option you can see a small write up of what do you mean by variable range what do you mean by labels in first row what do you mean by general what do you mean by output all those things has been uh, discussed and explained it in a very very simple way now basically when you wanted to choose the input you just have to click on uh, the variable range option and you have to drag it like this how i am dragging it have a look at it uh, basically i want to label the first row in correlation so put a tick mark on it and now i am also wanted to know what is the descriptive statistics so i am putting a clear tick mark on it and i also want to have the scatter plot right so nothing just click on okay let's see what is the output that i'm getting i'm waiting for it right now i have got the output now you can see in a matter of few seconds without any difficulty i have got a clear cut output for correlation i have also got the scatter plot descriptive statistics and along with correlation matrix i have also got t statistics where it is comparing the means now you can see the mean length of the length of the wing which is given it as 10.6 and mean length of the tail which is 7.5 and i am also trying to find out is there any relationship between uh, the length of the wing and the length of the tail and as you can see that it is 0 0.870 that means that there is a very high positive correlation between length of the tail and length of the wing of the bird and this has been confirmed with the scatter plot also you can see that there is a perfect positive linear relationship between these two which cons confirms that yes there is a positive correlation matrix is available and whether you wanted to know whether, uh, whether it is statistically significant or not you can look at the p value basically it is uh, 0.000 which is lesser than 0 0.05 which is a normal uh, level of significance that that researcher uses now if at all if you have created a hypothesis that there is a strong relationship between length of the wing and uh, length of the wing and the length of the tail of birds through this test we can easily confirm whether our null and alternate hypothesis is selected or rejected now like this you can do series of tests by using different options available at the top now when it comes to the univariate analysis uh, like finding out the standard deviation or finding out mean median mode 
or any other variants you can directly use excel there is nothing to use a uh, statistic excel option but when it comes to bivariate analysis like chi square correlation in fact as simple like simple linear regression we can use a very powerful technique like statistic excel you can also do techniques like multivariate analysis where you can analyze more than two variables you can use test like factor analysis cluster analysis and all so whether it is a univariate analysis bivariate analysis multivariate analysis this is a very very powerful add in that you can install it in your excel and that you can make use of it so uh, I, I actually you could have seen that in the thumbnail a uh, th thumbnail i have compared statistic excel with the uh, spss the reason being of course yes spss is much powerful uh, much much stronger than statistic excel but it, it's been a long time since we have used spss which started during 1968 so it's been almost more than 50 years that we have used spss so in this time we had very good softwares that is available in the market so one such software is statistic excel so you no need to uh, go for an extensive training like you have gone for spss it's a very very simple software uh, which i can call it as an add in in excel now what are all the different type of arithmetic operations that you can do that also i have mentioned it so how do i compare uh, or why do i say that statistic excel is better than spss or why do i recommend this software uh, for uh, somebody who is an amateur researcher or somebody who is doing their internship or dissertation uh, during a part of their pg program number 1 is the layout of this particular software when you compare the layout of spss now i am having an spss output window you can see that there are basically two windows that is available for spss one is the data view and the other one is that variable view where we are actually defining the characteristics of the questionnaire that we are having it through the variable view so somebody who is an amateur researcher or who is learning research for the first time uh, without having any uh, good statistical or any tool background he find it quite new for him but this problem you don't find it in statistic excel software so that means the input window is very very clean like a normal excel tab second advantage is that the output window if you would have used spss spss the output is not so clean and it is not so uh, 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 it doesn't support any graphical uh, interface uh, like excel so if you are taking if, if you are doing any kind of statistical test or let, let's say that if you are doing uh, a test or if you are using any kind of graph you can see that excel graph would be much better than that of spss so when you are getting the output and we are converting the output and you are transferring the output by copy pasting it in your thesis or in your uh, research paper probably you may have to change the font size you may have to change the layout so that it becomes more suitable for your research paper so that the layout is quite better but this kind of difficulty you will not have it in this particular software because you can just directly copy paste it uh, because the output is very very clean so this is the second advantage that you can have this software over spss and the third one of course on the pricing part if you if if you look at the price of spss if you look at the price of spss i have just googled and i found that the price of spss for a basic version i am not talking about that cracked version i am talking about if you are if at all if an institute is buying spss it it will cost you up to uh, 2850 usd which comes near about 2 lakh rupees right so but when it comes to statistic excel you can see that it cost you only 3300 rupee plus so you can see there is a big difference in terms of pricing when you compare ibm spss with that of statistic excel now when it comes to a student level researcher what students normally do they try installing the free version of it whether it is spss or statistic excel so when you install a free version in spss you will get only 14 days of trial but in statistic excel you will get 30 days of uh, free trial so during 30 days you can do a lot of test and 30 day is more than sufficient for you to uh, complete your internship 
so uh, this is what i wanted to convey in today's uh, session guys where i have just given a small comparison of statisti excel with respect to spss now what is my final verdict or is there any disadvantage that statisti excel is having over spss yes of course you have few disadvantages also otherwise everyone would have switched to do the, to this software over spss the number one disadvantage is that when it comes to parametric test still i would prefer to use spss over statisti excel the reason being when it comes to parametric test i need to do lot of assumptions i need to test whether my data fulfills all these assumptions which includes concept of normality homoscedasticity and lot many assumptions which i have discussed it in my previous video which you haven't watched you can go back to the playlist and you can check out a video named statistical test for data analysis in research so in that video i have explained it very clearly what are the different type of parametric test assumptions that you have to do so for doing those assumptions i found spss to be more user friendly than statisti excel does it mean that you can't do with statisti excel no you can also do that in statisti excel but not through the statisti excel but through excel right say for example a scatter plot which we use it for testing the normality and linearity you can do that with excel itself which is quite simple and you can just google it in youtube there are lot many good tutorials available so when it comes to the parametric test if at all if you are going with statisti excel you have to use the help of excel also number one the number two disadvantage uh, i mean uh, which which i don't call it as a disadvantage which i can call it as a limitation is that x statisti excel is okay if you are doing an internship or thesis and if you are looking for some kind of dissertation it is fine but if you are looking for some kind of market research companies and if you are working for it then spss is the best so now what is the final verdict so my final verdict is that if at all if you are looking for a non parametric test where you need now to test the assumptions you can very well go for statisti excel over spss second thing even if you are going for parametric test at a student level you can also go for statisti excel because uh, at a student level it is okay if you test some of the basic assumptions of parametric test like normality linearity for that a test like scatter plot or kruskal values or um, all those things are more than sufficient you need not to go for a uh, full kind of assumptions by using spss if at all you can uh, for all you wanted to use excel you can take help of youtube as well so now this is what i wanted to uh, share the information today that yes there are few softwares which are as good as spss much simpler than spss right of course spss is the legend but when it comes to softwares like this they also give a very very good uh, alternate for someone who is an amateur researcher who also wanted to do research and one of the important thing with this statisti excel is that you no need to have any kind of extensive training for this software unlike spss in fact i told you about how i have used this statisti excel for my mba i did not undergo any kind of training that time youtube was not so popular i have used the help file one thing is that when it comes to this uh, particular software uh, the help file i found it very very useful compared to the help file of uh, this uh, spss so uh, this help file is more than sufficient for you to understand what is this technique is all about so now this is what i wanted to convey for uh, for the day uh, you can share and you can comment on this uh, presentation moreover if you find this software to be useful you can put it in your comments and adding on to that you can also recommend this video to your friends uh, so that they you can help them in your internship if your faculty you can recommend this to your student to have a trial version which doesn't cost them anything and uh, you can hit the like button and you can share it thank you thanks all